What's up everybody, Omega EX here, and I'm about to show y'all the Alienware monitor. I didn't unbox it yet, I had it for a couple days. I just wanted to uh, show y'all me unboxing it. That's why I didn't like open it up yet. But yo, this monitor is humongous. Like I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even say the monitor, I'm gonna say the box is humongous. I didn't think it was gonna come in something like this. First off, it came in this, this big ass box. <laughs> I was like, yo, that's ridiculous. So if you're new here, I am a gamer. I play Fortnite. Use code OmegaEX1 in the item shop if you haven't. Subscribe, turn on notifications on, and you know the deal. Y'all already know the, you know the routine. But let's get right into it. Starting off, the monitor does have 240 hertz refresh rate and one millisecond response time. Provided with sharp, of course. There's no input lag when it comes to this monitor, as well as clear gameplay. It's AMD FreeSync eliminates choppy visuals with fluid, artifact free performance and everything else. Basically this monitor, what they're saying is this monitor is basically God. So let's open this joint right now. So here's all the pieces needed to put the Alienware together. It doesn't look like it has too much stuff to put in. So I'm gonna put this together and I'm gonna show you how the final results. Voila, the Alienware monitor is put together. As you can see, it wasn't that hard. It was probably like six steps on the paper. It was a little weird at first, but they made it easy to where you can connect them all together without going through all the screws and the screwdrivers to put it together. As you can see here, I put the wires in and they come out this way through the side, as you can see right here, just to keep the cords in, tank, in control. They give us a little piece down here to keep it sealed so no, none of the screws will like, you know, mess around or gather dust. You got buttons all at the bottom. I'm gonna figure that out. Oh, well, it's right here. Um, What else? Got the Alienware logo right here on the side. This, this monitor is actually very heavy, y'all. And you got that. When I picked it up, it is very heavy. So if you do get this, just be aware that, yeah, there's, it feels like 50 to 40 pounds, honestly. But it's definitely a nice monitor. I like the way it looks, and I'm about to go hook this up real quick. This was my old monitor, a 75 Hertz monitor. Voila. Here's the new Alien Tech monitor. This is what happens when you put it on. It had like the logo pop up, but I don't know why it doesn't do it now. I'm assuming, it's not touch screen, so I feel stupid. Uh, there's a check. So I was actually wondering what this cord does right here, and I didn't think I needed it. But I guess what you do is you plug it in and it displays the game on here. So that's what I'm about to do right now. All right, so I got it together. It actually wasn't that cord, but it was just the fact that I didn't turn on a PS PS4, so ugh, don't hate me, y'all. So the first button, brings up the menu where you can do the preset mode, the response time, and the dark stabulator. And then you have like the AW2518HF. I'm guessing that's just my, uh, I don't even know what that is, honestly. But then you have down here, like different logos, cause I'm still trying to figure out this myself. If you, you can change the FPS. So based on where the arrows are, that's what button you push. So this will exit out. Uh, the left far button will bring up the menu. Then you can choose between which one you want. So you can change the color, you can make the screen lighter, and exit out. So y'all kind of get the picture, like whatever button y'all push where that menu is, is what comes up. One of the menus bring up different types of preset modes. So you do have a standard FPS, RTS, RPG, game one, two, three, comfort view, warm, cool, and custom color. I'm gonna stick with the FPS. I ain't gonna fidget with it too much so I don't mess up the monitor or put something I don't want. But I will go for FPS and you can see like the monitor changes colors as you change the mode over time. So based on your selection. So I'm gonna do FPS and I'm gonna check that off. 
and then you can see like the monitor is a lot brighter but let's try some gameplay and see how it moves and functions also the monitor turns out i don't know who's going to use this or what but it does turn like all the way around so you can adjust it around so this is what the graphics look like i brightened it up a little bit and this crap looks amazing like it's so clear so bright and i'm liking it so far also i was trying to find the volume because i noticed my monitor is not making any noise so over here, if you pick the little menu right here, tap that one, and then you'll have a bunch of options in, such as game, input source, audio. I finally found audio and I turned it to 100, but for some reason I still don't have any noise. But if y'all know why, let me know, please, because I'm trying to figure it out right now. But if not, I mean, I still got my headset. I don't know if this is the type of monitor that works for a PC because I'm playing on PS4. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you have an answer for this. Under here, you also have USB ports to plug in to charge your devices as well, which is pretty cool because I usually use my PS4 to charge, but um, I had used up all my slots. So that's definitely convenient if you have the Alienware monitor. So I am new to mouse and keyboard. It's been a month and a half, so bear with me on my movement. But um, as you can see here, the graphics is amazing. They're a lot smoother than they were on my other monitor based off of me playing on both right now. I like the brightness. It flows smoothly. The edit plays are all smooth to me. And um, most of all, I just feel like it's a great, it's a, definitely a great monitor. It's worth the price. The price was like around 400, but I'm pretty sure y'all can find it a little bit cheaper on Amazon, depending on like the bidding and all that. But yes, this is definitely a good investment. If any of y'all want to invest in the Alienware monitor, I would say my 75 Hertz monitor wasn't bad, but if you plan on going higher on frame per second on your PC, you would definitely want this one because this monitor definitely goes up to 240 hertz and it can adjust once you move up your uh, frames per second on your PC. Best of all, I'm actually playing mouse and keyboard on PS4. So there is input lag, but with this monitor, it feels like it's a lot smoother and less delayed compared to my 75 hertz monitor. But I was delayed like really bad sometimes, but on here, at least I know it's a lot smoother and you can adjust your frames per second to super fast thanks to one of my viewers that helped me out. So if you're on mouse and keyboard on PS4 or Xbox, I feel your pain. Definitely invest in a good monitor. If you enjoyed this video, definitely take the time, subscribe, turn notifications on. And if you have any uh, ideas you want me to do, let me know in the comments below. But till next video, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video and enjoyed me explaining this. And if you find it useful, throw that thumbs up. But overall, be safe. Y'all take it easy and the grind don't stop.